Hello YouTube and welcome to another Elasticsearch tutorial. So in this video I will show you how you can backup and restore an Elasticsearch cluster using snapshots. So are you ready? Let's get started. So there are actually three things that you must know before performing any backup and restore of your Elasticsearch. First of all, snapshot is a backup taken from a running Elasticsearch cluster, okay? And snapshots can be restored into a running cluster via the restore API. But the most interesting or the most important thing to bear in your head is that you must register repository before you can perform any snapshot or restore operations. So the first thing that you have to do is to register repo, okay? But before that, first thing first, let's check if the service is up and running. So as usual, I'll execute my command here, systemctl. Then status, then the service name, which is Elasticsearch. Okay, so we are good. So as you can see, the service is active and running. Next, we're gonna create actually a directory where we can store all our snapshots, okay? So here, as you can see on this terminal, I am on my desktop folder. So let's just create a directory for our snapshots. And let's, for example, name it Elasticsearch Backup. So you can name it whatever you want. So here it's saying that it exists. So maybe we can create another directory. Okay, so let's get rid of this uh, dash here and we'll create just a directory called OS Backup. Okay, here we go. So now the directory has been created. Okay, so the directory is empty. It contains nothing. Okay, but we have also to make sure that the service Elasticsearch can write into this directory. So you must give permissions to actually Elasticsearch in order to write to this directory. Okay, and we can do that very easily using the command here. Okay, so I will do sudo for actually root privileges, change owner, minus R, and we'll give the permission to Elasticsearch. And of course, we have to specify the directory name. So in this case, it's Elast Elasticsearch Backup. Okay. Now we are done. Okay, so the directory is set up but we have actually to tell Elasticsearch that we have created this directory for snapshots. And for that, we have to edit the Elasticsearch.yaml file. So I will open it, always using sudo command because we need root privileges. I will use here vim, but you can use whatever editor you want. And as you know, the YAML file is located into the directory slash etc slash Elasticsearch and the name is Elastic Search dot YML. So let's open it. Okay, here we go. So we need actually to add a parameter here so you can add it whatever you want but it's better to add it in this section here called path so as you can see we have the path dot data but we must add another one so i will insert the path dot repo 
parameter here, okay? Followed by semicolon. Then we have to provide the full path to the directory that we have just created. So the directory path is home slash amine slash desktop. And of course, the name is Elasticsearch Backup. So make sure that uh, I have spelled it correctly. I think it's okay now. So write and quit. Okay. And now we have actually to restart our service just to make sure that uh, the changes have been taken. So I'll use the same command system ctl but this time restart and service name which is elastic search that service okay so we are restarting here our service i have to provide the, my root password here and we are done so let's check it if the service is running Maybe we can have some mistakes, but actually no, everything is okay. The service is up and running, okay? So next, next we have to create what we call our repo, okay? So in order to create a repo, you have to use the curl command okay so I will be using the curl command in order to create the repo so the command is quite long but it's okay so this is full command here so here we are creating a repo actually and the name of this repo is Elasticsearch Backup okay and I provide the type which is file system and some settings the settings contain the location which is slash home slash amine slash desktop and the name of the backup directory that we have created which is as backup okay and another parameter compress true so we are compressing our data here into this directory okay so you will find actually the all the commands in the description in case of you want to test it okay so I will hit enter here so acknowledge is true which means that the command has successfully executed okay I can check the repo that we have here with another command always using the curl here we go so this command actually tell us that we have a repo called as backup and here you see the parameter that I have passed into the command so we have the type which is file system and compress true and location which is OS backup okay so everything looks good everything is neat and clear so now we can proceed into actually creating what we call snapshot which is actually full backup of the whole cluster Elasticsearch cluster okay so let me clear that first but before that let me just show you all the indices that we have in our cluster so in order to do that I will execute this command using the cat API 
et voilà as you can see i have a total of four indices so we have the client index the people index the accounts index and the movies account the movies uh, sorry index so for example here for the account index we have a total of 1000 documents and the total size is uh, 500 kilobytes okay so this command actually will give us all the indices that we have in our cluster and later we'll be deleting all these indices and try to restore it from our backup or snapshot okay so now that you have seen all the indices let me now create our snapshot so in order to create snapshot i will also be using the curl command here we go so this is the full command here so here we are in after the snapshot api we are telling actually the name of our repo which is us backup and then the name of our snapshot here i just call it first snapshot but you can call it whatever you want and here we have another parameter called wait for completion is equal to true so this command will wait until the whole Elasticsearch cluster has been backed or snapshot okay so I'll execute this command and see here we go so of course it will take some time depending of the size of the data you have in your cluster but here I have just some small data so it will take just two seconds or three seconds and as you can see I have no error I have a bunch of successful keywords which means everything is successful okay so now actually we have created our first snapshot okay I can also verify that I have snapshot here using another command so let me clear that so this is the command that I'll be using I will just have to add here after this uh, snapshot the name of our repo which is OS backup then slash all and pretty that's all here we go so now you can see the snapshot that we have so the name of our snapshot is first snapshot actually okay okay so what happened here so let me just show you what is inside the the directory that we have created in our desktop called OS backup so I'll open it here here we go so you can see I have a couple of files and also a folder called indices that contains actually four so you can assume that each folder contain actually an index because we have four indexes so it have just make a backup of our own entire uh, Elasticsearch cluster okay so now in order to verify that it has been worked let's delete all the indices that we have in our Elasticsearch cluster so in order to do that I'll use another command here but this time I will use the delete method et voila so the acknowledge true which means that everything has been successfully executed so let's verify the indices that we have with this command so I get nothing 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 so I have deleted all the indices so now using the restore API 
let's try to restore all the indices okay so in order to do that I will use the same command that we have used for snapshot but just I will add restore API so this is the full command so we have to specify here as you can see the name of our repo and the name of our snapshot which is first snapshot and here you can see the restore API so let's execute this command so it takes some time that is normal and we have success okay so now will be verifying all the indices that we have using the previous command et voila you can see that we are back our to our first state so we have our four indices for example the accounts on the ha that have a total of 1000 documents so with the help of this snapshot we have successfully created actually a snapshot it's like a backup to the entire Elasticsearch cluster and using the restore API we have restored from a directory that we have created so that was very easy to do very easy to handle but you have just to follow the order and the most important thing is not to forget to register the repository into your Elasticsearch configuration file so that was a quick and easy tutorial that shows you how you can backup and restore an entire Elasticsearch cluster. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.